We're talking rock now, so whack up your wireless. Uh, it's so good when a local band actually put Jersey on the map. I mean, Legend have done it, and Neil Howarth is a part of Legend. The band called O did it uh, years and years ago, and I'm delighted to say uh, Neil Howarth uh, is in the studio with me. He's got a brand new band together, Frail Sincerity, a uh, new album, Frail Sincerity. Uh, so I want to know, Neil, how this came about. A lot of people know me from playing with Legend, and in 2013, we were writing The Dark Place. During that process, uh, I was writing quite a lot of riffs that just weren't kind of Legend material. They're kind of more hard rock in your face, rock and roll type riffs. And I thought, these are good, I'm going to keep them aside and see what happens. Um, 2013 was a really busy year for Legend. You know, we had to promote the album, we we toured, We you know, we played Germany and... Uh, at the big local gig, etc., and so we were quite knackered at the end of that. So the band kind of decided to have a bit of a break and a bit of a rest, but I was still up and uh, ready to do some more writing. So I called on a good friend, Matt Bugard, who plays bass, and uh, said, "You know, do you fancy working on these?" And um, yeah, we spent quite a few evenings together. We worked on it. Decided we definitely needed a drummer, so uh, we started looking around. Um, we did actually try a few guys, uh, it, it, but just didn't work out and then I called on a good old friend Gavin Bartlett me and him go back to our late teens playing in bands and he decided to come in and help and we all got into it and carried on writing and kind of got 10 or 11 songs written Uh, and a young man by the name of what's his name Zoltan Palo Zoltan yeah Zoltan I mean as the material was developing um, I I felt that, that you know we needed a really good good rock voice and Zoltan kind of really ticks the box on that his, um, you know, his reputation and everybody who knows him knows he's got, he's a great singer. And I did actually approach Zoltan probably about six months before we went into the studio, but he couldn't do it. He had too many other kind of commitments and things on. So we kind of went in the studio and I was doing the vocals and, you know, I'll be perfectly honest. I just didn't think they, they cut the mustard. I really didn't. So I approached Zoltan again uh, as we were towards the end of the recording and he was then available and he was all up for it and yeah, came on board and uh yeah, did the vocals. You know, I, I loved the kind of late 70s, early 80s stuff. You know, you, you're talking about ACDC, uh, Van Halen, Thin Lizzy, Michael Schenker, that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, you know, just really wanted to try and write an album with that type of material, which is really focused on really good guitar riffs and good melodies. Um, and yeah, the commercial three to four minutes type songs that you hear. And talking about guitar melodies and commercial riffs, I'm going to play the first time. This is one of your favourite tracks, isn't it, of the album? It is, yeah. Yeah, it was one of the first tracks we kind of wrote. It was just a, a pleasure kind of writing it and jamming it through. And um.
A great tune the first time uh, you've been to america you've been traveling what have you been doing over there yeah um well we combined a bit of a family holiday with some uh kind of business um i'd been invited out there to kind of appear on um a local kind of um metal video kind of show and uh but also um i was talking to people about or, or promoters about doing uh some gigs out there um the California scene is just brilliant for hard rock. I mean, they are massive new wave of British heavy metal fans out there as well. Uh, hence, Legend has got a, a big following. And also, because the frail sincerity, a few of the guys out there had heard some of the material and were keen to talk to me. So, yeah, I went out there and appeared um, on a live um, radio um, video kind of uh, cast on uh, in Hollywood, which was uh, interesting and uh, g good fun and uh, yeah talking to one uh, particular promoter about uh, lining up a, a mini tour in the states uh, later next year which will take in san diego long beach and then hopefully whiskey a go-go club in hollywood well you're showing the youngsters how to do it because let's be honest we're all in our 50s <laughs> <or maybe laughs> yeah, I am, yeah, you know? yeah yeah it's true, yeah yeah isn't it i mean it's, it just goes to show that you're never too old to rock and roll. Well, well, yeah, and I also think guitaring, uh, per se, has changed dramatically for, from the hard rock field. Um, you know, the, the, the guitarists that I grew up with, you know, kind of starting with Hendrix and Schenker and Blackmore, and, uh, you know, they all had kind of roots in the blues and, um, and, and rock and roll. And w when you hear the new guitarists of today, it's all kind of uh, pentatonic kind of runs and, you know, kind of thrashing and who can play the fastest. And there's, you know, there's no, not much feel in it, I don't find. Um, so, yeah, and I think when people hear us old guys kind of, uh, you know, kind of shredding uh, the necks, uh, you know, they hear something that's maybe, you know, it's nothing new, but it's, it's refreshing, I think. Has it been difficult, actually, being from Jersey to try and promote and, and create this album or any album? It's, I mean, you know, Jersey's Jersey and you're limited with what you can do. You know, unlike the UK, you can jump in a van and go and play a gig here and drive 100 miles up the road and do another. You know, we had that problem with Legend in the 80s where, you know, getting off this island with the van, with the gear, etc., was always a logistical nightmare. Um, I think this day and age, the, the, the music business has changed. The internet is you know, your biggest medium to, to use, and that's what gets uh, bands' music out there more so than anything. Um, the uh, 
the contacts you can get through, you know, social networks, etc., does help. You know, we've picked up tons, especially with from the legend type uh, uh, contacts we have. And now, you know, you can jump on a plane with your guitar and turn up at a festival, and the back lineup is there. You know, um, it's all ready for you to just walk on stage and plug in and play. Unlike the old days, where you know you literally do, did have to take a van out on the road. Uh, there's a lot more festivals and places like that now that already have a back lineup uh, so that makes a, a big big difference your daytime job must be a bit of a hindrance <laughs> i love my day job i do actually i do i work in the financial services a lot of people know that know me yeah uh, for, for, from from uh, uh, for that um no i mean again you know the band the music is always been treated as a hobby as a passion it's an artistic escape um you know you're never too old to rock you know it's just great you know, been able to sit down, write a song that means maybe something to you or tell a story. Um, you know, some other people get a kick from playing golf or riding bikes or train spotting. You know, I mean, I get my kicks from, from doing my music. Well, I've got my kicks from this album, though. Let me tell you, for our sincerity, it's, it, it is really, really good. Cheers. Where can we get it from? Uh, we are selling it direct online at frailsincerity.com and it's uh, available in. Uh, physical cd format or as download you can get it through itunes it's available on amazon locally um island music in bath street are stocking it and uh white uh right label records up in columbia also are stocking at the moment and the big question is when can we see you live well yeah um we've we've kind of faltered a little bit we were due to play at the end of november but because of uh, something uh, that happened we had to cancel that um, and uh, now it's been rearranged end of January. So 30th of January, Water Splash is the date. Uh, we're going to have a good rock night. We're going to have a few bands on there, Rock DJ, extens- late extension. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good, good night. Can I just say, I know a really good rock DJ. Do you? Yeah, I do. Really? Really. Okay. Well, we'll have to talk about that afterwards. Well, you know who it is, don't you? <laughs> Who's that? It's me. Of oh, right. Oh, is it? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to play my favourite uh, track from the album, When the Morning Comes. What can you tell me about this track? Ah, yeah. Well, the background on this, uh, the lyrics-wise, uh, came from a conversation I had with someone who um, was due to fly back out to Iraq and uh, just had a newborn baby. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was quite emotional, the, the conversation I had with him in the pub. Um, you know, just would he ever see her again, basically. <laughs> Turn, live your life for a reason 
sun Never cried Thanks very much indeed. Good luck with the album and uh, look forward to seeing you live and DJing your uh, gig. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. Okay. Okay.